It was about 8.30 at night. I was just going back to my place. Uh, I was driving along a dark stretch of highway, uh, which had roadworks. It was one of those rainy summer days. But the rain had stopped, and then I came up to a little black slick on the road. As soon as I hit that, my car lost control. It went up an embankment, came back down, and the nose of the car hit the road, and it started flying through the air. I didn't really think much initially, and I tried to get out of the car, and I realized that I couldn't move, and I couldn't use my fingers anymore. And then I realized that I couldn't feel my legs. I was a medical student at the time, and I knew enough to know that I had a spinal cord injury. So I was thinking about my life and that magnitude of change within seconds, it's a pretty hard thing to come by. I couldn't eat, I couldn't breathe. You had to really work through that physical stuff and you had to survive through it as well. I like to think that you can never make a sword without putting steel through a fire. All these things that happen in our life are an opportunity to become stronger and an opportunity to become better. And so that's the way I saw it. And honestly, there was a period where I was laying in bed still recovering, but I promised myself that I'd be stronger and better. And that's what I've tried to do. A cure would mean that, you know, I, uh, the last thing I did standing up was to hug my mum. So I can stand up and do that again. Just to stand again, just to feel tall, just to um, wander around. I think the greatest thing about this journey is that Perry and I, we, we share this dream but we are people that have such a personal connection to the result. And we push and we push and we push the resources uh, and donations and the support helps the foundation push. And if we can get together and make that push, uh, we will have the momentum to get there. And we're getting close 